That intro clip was from Jim Mitchell. If you guys have any intro clips that you want to be featured in upcoming videos, don't forget to send them to the email down below in the description. Hey guys, so it's from Legend Gaming. Today, we are looking at all the changes coming to Battlefield 5 for the second alpha. Now, this alpha has the exact same maps and the exact same weapons, but what they did change is some of the balance within those weapons. Now, sadly, they didn't actually post this on the official Battlefield website. They put it on the forums. It's kind of sad that they don't really make this available on the biggest forum. They didn't even post it on Twitter. Um, you just had to sort of search through the forums to find it. So I'm really disappointed that DICE didn't make this sort of like a public post, but that's why I'm here. I'll bring this, these details to you guys so you guys can have an idea of what the game's gonna look like because they did change quite a bit and gladly they did actually listen to the community. So in the first closed alpha, one of our main goals was to get an idea of how fast players scored points and the time it took them to level up through the ranks. Based upon this, we have made some changes we think will cater to players across all play styles and levels, blah blah blah. Pretty much they're just talking about uh, the direction they're taking the game, what they're uh, testing for the second alpha, they're kind of just testing uh, the score and stuff like that. But here's the overview of all the weapon changes, this is the real important stuff. So the EMP, this is like the Irma Machine Pistol, this is one of the SMGs in the game. Um, it decreased the max damage range from 12 to 8 meters, um, so they're kind of making it a bit less effective, um, like in close quarters it seems like. So they are decreasing the range that it happens, and they're also decreasing the fall off range from 50 to 40 meters. But they're increasing the minimum damage to 14.3 and you also get one more magazine upon spawning you pretty much get this for every gun so instead of starting with two magazines you start with three and then you can get an additional one if you resupply i love this uh, this is sort of what i wanted from the game because it does keep sort of the attrition in mind where you need to work with your teammates to get mags but you can get more than like two kills uh, with your gun before being forced to reload which i like um, i'm not really sure how that quite um, makes it better in close quarters though um, and they did the same thing with the MP40 um, exact same thing they decreased the max damage range from 12 to 8 meters decreased the fall off range from 50 to 40 meters um, and they it says SMG's got an increase in their effectiveness in short range combat but I think the main reason why this happened is because they decreased the STG's damage from 27 to 20 its max damage However, they increase the max damage range from 11 to 20 meters. So the STG is going to be a 5 shot kill, um, but it's going to be a 5 to 6 shot kill. Um, and its max damage range fall off is from 50 to 60 meters now. So instead of being a 4 to 6 shot kill, it's going to be a 5 to 6 shot kill. Um, but it's going to be a 5 shot kill for longer. So what they want to do with the STG is they want to keep it effective at longer range, but less effective in close to medium range. Um, and it's going to be in its sweet spot in medium range. So basically, while they only slightly nerfed the subs, they gave a pretty heavy nerf to the STG in close quarters, so the subs will be more viable. I do like this. Um, I just wish they more buffed the subs instead of nerfing the STG, um, but I can definitely live with this change. Now the Bren, um, they increased the max damage range from 11 to 20 meters, and they basically just balanced it the same as the STG. The increase the fall off range from 50 to 60 meters and decrease the minimum damage from 17 to 16.7 mg34 did the same thing they increased the max damage range from 11 to 20 meters increase the damage fall off range from 50 to 60 meters but they increased the minimum damage from 17 to 20 so now i'm pretty sure this gun is a four to five shot kill or it might just be a five shot kill everywhere um but yeah, they're trying to make the MG34 a bit more viable at longer ranges when you're using that bipod um, because it was pretty much useless. No one really used that gun in the first alpha. Next is the Gewehr 43. They increased its max damage range or decreased, my bad, its max damage range from 26.5 to 15. But then they increased the falloff range from 51.5 uh, to 60 and they decreased the minimum damage from 36 to 34 this isn't too big of a deal um it's still gonna be a three shot kill at all ranges which is really good um i'm just not quite sure what the max damage is on this gun um so i'm not sure if you can get a two shot kill anywhere with this weapon i don't think you can um, but maybe they're just playing with um how it works with headshots now the car 98 they increase the max damage from 80 to 90 so again you still can't one shot kill in close quarters um and they decrease the max damage range from 20 
or decrease the max damage range from 20 to 8 meters, decrease the follow-up range from 80 to 60 meters, and decrease the minimum damage from 60 to 55, and they lowered the bullet velocity from 700 to 600. So, um, so it says we've slowed down the bullet speed for the car 98 to create more bullet drop to make players compensate for longer ranges more than before. I don't necessarily like this. I thought the snipers were fine, especially since you only had to hit headshots. I understand that on PC it may have been super overpowered, but on console, um, this is a very balanced sniper. And I understand that the alpha is only on PC and that's where they're getting the data from, but this is kind of why it is good to have a console alpha too. Um, trying to sort of balance the entire game around PC mechanics isn't good because around 90% of the player base is on console for Battlefield. So I'm not really sure what they're going at with this. Um, one, this sniper now no longer gets an assist count to kill if you hit the enemy always. Um, you can never one shot to the chest, even in extreme close quarters, and you always have to hit headshots. And that was fine, but now they made it harder to hit headshots because you have to compensate more for the bullet drop. I'm not sure how much I like this. Again, this is only one sniper. We're probably going to get five or six in the game, but this is most likely going to be sort of the philosophy they're going to take with all the snipers in the game. Um, and then lastly, we have the Walther P38. They increased its magazine amount on spawn from four to eight, and 10 when resupplying. Increased its max damage range from 10 to 15 meters, decreased max damage from 30 to 25 meters, increased min damage from 15 to 16.7, and decrease the fall off range from 70 to 30 meters. So that's pretty much it as right now. That's all the changes they made for the second alpha. Um, I don't know how much I like this. I'm just saying that it's kind of hard when we only know like six or seven or even max eight guns that are going to be in the game right now. Um, I really would have liked to see more weapons. Um, Call of Duty's beta, which is earlier than Battlefield's alpha, if you know what I mean, like Call of Duty and Battlefield release at the exact same time, COD already has a beta out that has six maps, 15 weapons, and a bunch of other stuff, uh, whereas Battlefield has shown us one map, two game modes, and about eight weapons. It's just a little concerning. I understand that they want to keep a lot of the game a surprise, maybe, um, but I just wish that they'd release more guns so we can actually test them out, because what happens in Battlefield a lot of the time is that the game releases and it's okay. Um, there's a lot of hype around the game from a bunch of people and then it dies very quickly. Like the game sells like 15 million copies and then a couple months later there's 150,000 people online at once. And then once that happens they decide to implement changes and improve the game. Like in Battlefield 1 they implemented Time to Kill 2.0. In Battlefield 4 they completely uh, changed the game and overhauled it to make it much better the dice la team did and even in battlefield hardline they tried to change the time to kill for pc to save the game about a year after launch so i don't understand why battlefield isn't necessarily learning from their mistakes um and trying to balance the game before it comes out rather than after um i just hope that they'll be able to do that with the beta and there is a lot more to test in the beta uh that's really just what i'm hoping for because this alpha is really just more of the same if you guys are new here, don't forget to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you are new here for everything in the Battlefield universe. I'm going to be doing my giveaway of Battlefield 5 and announcing it soon once we know the beta date. Uh, but again, boys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.